video is sponsored by 1-6 Society, an international group for 1-6 scale toy collectors. Join them on Facebook right now. Link is in the description. They rock! What up, big kids? Here's your San Diego Comic Con 2017 uh, Bandai Japan uh, Tamashii Nations SH figure arts and many other things. So here is their extensive Dragon Ball uh, collection from Dragon Ball Xenoblade 2 or yeah. And then yeah, this one is just so many different characters. Um, yeah, we got Sun Goku, and oh uh, man, we got Trunks, and you know, it's just so many. And the light was so empowering that I had to turn it down. The it was just like this blazing light. I think it was just was supposed to emulate the Super Saiyan power up, which was really cool. So yeah, they look all amazing. You know. SH figure arts when it comes to Dragon Ball Z figures, they are the business. So, yeah, and a lot of them are re releases, some of them are new ones. Uh, you can just tell. I really love um, <laughs> the little Goku right there, just looking so cute. And yeah, all the different um, types. Uh, you got Krillin looking badass, just all the, you know, we got a uh, Cell. And yeah, just looking all pretty badass. It's just all the different characters that span through the Dragon Ball universe. Super bulky. <laughs> and yeah, just the amount of uh, articulation detail in these figures. And yeah, like I said, just overpowering in light. And there's Vegeta looking awesome. Just, oh man, I love how they do the hair and all the, man, just the super um, forms and everything. Android 18 and you know, just looking just so awesome. <laughs> I can go on and on about these and <laughs> oh man, just they look badass. I got most of these just for you guys. I'm I like Dragon Ball. I grew up on it, but I'm not the biggest Dragon Ball fan. I've been trying to get back into it, but um, yeah, the SH figure arts are just oh man, I just wish I had the money, but I I don't. But yeah, Frieza in uh, Resurrection F looks awesome. I saw that movie. That was such a cool movie. And here is the cool display of Naruto and Dragon Ball figures and many others. A nice 360 display that keeps spinning right round, baby, right round like a record player. And we got some monster arts in there. And hopefully get some more monster arts on display. You can also see, uh, oh, I thought that was the Voltron there. But yeah, all the Sailor Moon ones, like the Super Sailor Moon and the um, Figure Art Zero, which are more the statues. But they look really beautiful. And uh, we got some Digimon in there. Yeah, so this one, it was cool that they did this, but it's really hard to take real video on it. It's just You just kind of have to stay in one place and let it come to you. And if you try to follow it, there's really no way you can only go on one side or the other. You can't go all the way around. But I still like the display. And yeah, some more Naruto figures looking really cool. I really like it a lot. And... um yeah, so we got some more. What do we got? Oh, yeah, some, uh, I believe this is Mega Man. Yes, uh, yeah, all the new Mega Man figures looking badass. Oh, and the Street Fighter, yes. The new Street Fighter, they show them Akuma and Chung Lee, Kami looking badass. I really like all the effects that they put on there. Looks so cool. Yeah, and like Kami's like, kick that she has. And oh, do kid. Yeah, looking so cool with Ryu. And uh, yeah, just. A bunch of different uh, Street Fighter figures that do, I think, hopefully they do Ken and Bison and yeah, I love to see Blanca. And then here we got some DC figures. We got Batman from Justice League, I believe. I think, no, I think this is the Batman v Superman one. And then we got Wonder Woman. I actually really, really love that head sculpt on there. Uh, besides the Hot Toys one, this has to be one of my favorite Wonder Woman figures that they have. And then Justice League Flash looking awesome and we got Deadshot from Suicide Squad. Yeah. You know, a big uh Deadshot style. Na 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 <laughs> getting jiggy with it. And then we got Harley who's uh come out and the Joker. Uh even though he wore that outfit very um not that long in the movie, if at all. Uh and then we got some Dark Knight figures. We got Batman, the Bat Pod and Joker. Uh he fled your Joker looking really badass. Yeah, so you can see the bat pod. That's really cool, especially with the way SH figures do articulation. It'll be a lot easier to put Batman on that bat pod than the Hot Toys one, because that's not fun. And we got some WWE figures. We got Undertaker looking badass. I love that tongue out um, head sculpt that we have. 
We got Kane. I would prefer Kane with the mask, but that's just me. We got The Rock uh, doing a rock bottom on Undertaker, which is awesome. If you smell it out with The Rock, this cooking. And we got Triple H with his long hair and Stone Cold with his beer. I really love the beer effects. That's really awesome. So really cool that we're getting some really good WWE figures. And they have Realization line, our Samurai Influence, Star Wars line with Jango Fed and Sand Troopers, Royal Guard, Darth Vader. He has the Death Star uh, logo on his helmet. We got Darth Maul. That helmet looks sick. Really cool. These are like such things that if I had the space and the money now, I'd love to get into them, but I just can't. You know, Shadow Troopers... Uh, looking awesome and we got the Boba Fett in his um, concept or prototype outfit which is really cool the Royal Guard and yeah just so many different um, stormtroopers you can definitely build uh, your Imperial Samurai Army Boba Fett looking awesome really cool oh my gosh so many awesome figures and yeah like it's just all the different weapons they have. We got cars. We got our diecast uh, Lightning McQueen. So I think he has. Uh, it's like diecast, and he has the rubber tires, I believe. It's like a really nice. Like I forgot what scale it is, but and then we got the one six scale R two D two and C three PO that I reviewed many years ago. The the C three PO, not the R two D two. The that one is just came out. That one is diecast. Really nice. It's like. Um, really uh, sweet and then we got the realization Marvel figures with Spider-Man and looking really sick and Captain America looking awesome Wow <laughs> Jap Captain Japanese that's what it really is or yeah but anyway um, and then we got um, Iron Man looking really awesome so cool and then we got Spider-Man homecoming figures we got uh, the homemade suit which looks sick and we got of course the regular suit or the Tony Star, uh, Stark suit and then we got Doctor Strange There's something strange in neighborhood who you gonna call it? the doctor looking really cool love all his magic effects that are going on yeah and then we got the Iron Man Hall of Armor with the Mark V and the Mark II looking cool and Star Lord in the front right there doing a cool pose you can see he has two different head sculpts, and we're also getting a rocket and a little Groot, which is really cool. I love these little effects that you got here. And then we are into Pacific Rim Uprising. So here's the costumes for the pilots of the Jaegers. Looking really awesome. Really love this armor. And here we got uh, Gypsy Danger. This one is like a 150, 250 figure. This one has like I believe lights, maybe sounds, and yeah, son of Chikokin. This one is super articulate, has so many interchangeable pieces, die cast parts. So, this is a really high end Gypsy Danger from their first um, Pacific Rim. So, that one looks really sick. So, this is probably the best version of Gypsy Danger you can get. Then, the Uprising ones, we got Gypsy Avenger, very, I guess, the predecessor to Gypsy Danger. I actually, really like that design. And here's another Gypsy Avenger. Looking really cool. So really cool that Tomashi Nations is doing the uh, Pacific Rim figures. Uh, they look really cool. I really like that they have swords and, you know, all these little weapons. Let them fight. Let them fight. <laughs> anyway, I know, wrong movie, but so. Um, yeah, they look really awesome. Really love the designs. I can't wait to see more in the movie. The only thing we got is that little uprising, join the uprising thing from John Boyega. So what do you think? think? Are you excited for the SH figure arts, the Pacific Rim figures, the Marvel figures, the DC figures, the wrestling figures? There's so many cool figures from SH figure arts. So which are you most excited to get? You can check them out at BigBadToyStore.com if you want to pick up any of these. And for more, check out my San Diego Comic-Con coverage at SeanNixLong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mayor. live long and love life. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, Hot Toys, Snowtrooper, Movie Master